Yo, what's up guys? This is Dusiko from Gadget Berry and uh, what I have here on my hands today is an Oppo A16 Yeah, you already know that from the b-roll that I've already shot The phone looks uh, quite basic. It looks nice, but it looks basic when you still have the cover on But boy, if you remove the cover, just look at that. Look at that. Look at that beauty Just look at that beauty, bro Look at that beauty look at the menu look 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 at the software like do you see i don't want to say um a resemblance of uh, the popular android devices uh android brands such as um uh xiaomi redmi uh huawei definitely not a samsung vibe but i don't see any difference from uh, the previous huawei devices that i've used in the past uh as opposed uh, to what i have on my hand today uh, it's a very funny story when I received this phone. I really didn't think I was gonna like it this much I really didn't think I was gonna like it this much it did look solid I knew I was gonna like it, but not this much. I didn't think I can use it as my daily driver it Does uh, come with 32 gigs onboard memory and it allows you to Put a memory card. I don't know if up to how many gigabytes, but I believe almost I believe uh, up to 256 uh, gigabytes because this phone is uh, three gigabytes of ram and uh, three gigabytes of ram is quite solid to handle a lot of things if it handles my activity and uh, trust me i use the phone for pretty heavy for pretty heavy stuff like um, on my analytics almost 24 7 i'm on my facebook i'm on my whatsapp uh, i don't play games that much but uh if I do play games, I play the very demanding ones, the ones that demand RAM and the battery. As you can see, I got my Chakra Simulator 2020 and my Buzz Simulator, which I've never played ever since I got this phone. Uh, so I can't really say how it handles on gaming. I don't know if the chip is strong enough for gaming, but I like the fact that uh, it still comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack for earphones at the bottom, and you get a nice crispy speaker, which I'm just gonna demonstrate for you in a bit. I was gonna play a song, but I just realized that for copyright purposes, let me just play a, let me just play a tone or something. You understand? Just so you can hear how crisp that speaker is. Ring tone, it's calm. Yeah, and you you saw you saw that prompt it just gave me, like uh, I like what they did with the privacy uh, privacy features on this phone. It it asked you. If you want to allow a lot of things i mean a lot of things you wouldn't know that these phones are doing at the background without you even knowing so this one asks you for a lot of things uh any app that you download any third party app that you download even uh the, the stock apps that come with the phone themselves it asks you a lot of things a lot of permissions and if you don't grant it the that permission if you don't grant it that access trust me you're not going to be able to do whatever that you want to do on that app but uh, it actually boosts your privacy. So yeah, I like that feature. But let's just uh, demonstrate the speaker for a bit. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a speaker part of it. The camera on the other hand i tried it in low light yesterday i tried uh, taking some pictures in low light with the rear camera and uh, i wasn't very impressed with the results i won't lie to you in low light i've never taken many shots in low light with this phone but i did take let me just let me just pull up a shot that i did take uh, i did take a shot uh in in light so this is how the shot looks there's no zoom and everything um uh, it's it's kind of clear and plush but i'm not pretty much impressed with the quality and everything because uh the details are just not that clear uh moving on forward and by the way free young dog free jeffrey free jeffrey free jeffrey free jeffrey i'm a big fan of Doug. i just saw a picture of his on my on my uh, on my album on my gallery and uh, just remember that the guy's been indicted on some serious charges, some serious RICO charges. Uh, I hope he gets through that. But uh, whilst we're appreciating the beauty of this phone, whilst we're talking about Young Doug's case, let me just go on over to the specs because that's what you're probably here for. 
this one has 32 gigs uh, of internal memory and you can see all the specs by just going straight to the settings which are very very which are looking very very funky by the way and the battery is very strong i will not lie to you about that uh, as you see right now it's almost 12 o'clock and it's on 75 percent on very very heavy usage but uh, if moving on over to the specs of the phone uh, you do see that it's got three gigabytes of ram and it's got uh, 32 gigabytes internal memory let me just focus on that yeah so it just summarizes everything in just one page instead of you having to scroll up in a daunty interesting menu of the about phone options mm, the storage is uh, 32 gigs as i've indicated and uh yesterday i removed a lot of things and i moved a lot of things to the memory card i don't know why, i don't know why i uh, still have like uh, 29 27.9 gigabytes used because i believe that it asked me to move a lot of things to the memory card and i did but i, 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 I don't think that actually happened because i see that on my memory card i still have like 10 gigabytes of available storage and uh, this is a 16 gigabytes memory card which already had some things in it so i believe that 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 process wasn't a success i don't know why because i left that screen i thought it was just gonna do it in the background but that also goes back to the things that the phone can and cannot do in the background there's a lot of things that it, it can do them in the background only if you allow it to specifically only if you allow it to three gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes internal memory it's an oppo a16 there's also an a16s which comes with 64 gigabytes minimum this one also comes with 64 gigabytes in other regions but uh, here in south africa we only get 32 uh, uh, 30, uh, 32 gigabytes variant well let me not say here in south africa let me say i got the 32 gigabytes variant i don't know if there is a 64 gigabyte variant available here in south africa uh we've done their speaker we've done uh we've done the camera i'd also have to give it to this phone for the nice cover by the way nice silicon cover that it comes with right off the box but i have to give it on this phone for the other feature that i saw that it actually does i mean i'm a big fan of huawei i mean by now you guys should probably know uh if you are playing a song on the background and you want to record something say you want to record an audio it doesn't stop that song on the background for example many of you might know that sometimes i record songs i'm an artist myself so if i get a nice fast idea on a beat that i have on the phone or that somebody sends me or that i get online and i'm not close enough to the recording studio and even if i am close to the recording studio with the mic and everything it won't be as fast and as spontaneous as it will be to just record same time for example i'm just gonna play a bit i know it doesn't have a copyright uh, uh copyright measures as yet let's just play because it's just a bit that hasn't been in the song so i'm playing a bit here and i want to i want to i want to record i want to record audio at the background you see the bit is still playing it doesn't stop and uh just so you can hear what uh, the quality is after that i am of course gonna play uh, this audio that we just recorded right now guys now i know this is not a lot but i know this means a lot to artists it means a lot trust me it does it means a lot so it makes things a lot easier a lot 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 easier but i don't like the fact that you don't get a, a screen recording option right off the bed you can download apps like moby zen and uh, other screen recording apps but i'm not quite a big fan of those because they leave the watermark and sometimes they run a lot of ads and the audio quality is very very bad at times so i'm not such a big fan of that i will not lie i will not care uh what else can i tell you about this phone the battery is quite strong i mean it's been idling for over nine for over 10 minutes now we've been filming and uh, it's still on 75 percent that we started uh on remember i did say something about the battery when we began i said it's almost 12 o'clock and it's still 75 percent on my heavy usage and it's still at 75 percent i mean i know a lot of iphones even the one that i'm film i'm filming with right now it's a six plus my friend's six plus i know it's probably dropped a, a bit of a few percentages by now maybe 
it's quite understandable because it's filming and the battery is very demanding sorry the camera is very demanding in terms of the battery but i know that even if it was just on idle and doing pretty much the same actions that i'm performing with this oppo uh, it was pretty much going to be the same uh, thing it was just going to drop way faster than the oppo and it's very understandable the oppo is a 20 2021 uh and and i i do stand to be corrected 2021 or 2022 22 model this oppo a16 i'm not saying oppo started in 2021 or 2022 i know they've been in the game for over five five six seven years now because i've seen their phones quite a long time ago and they used to look like iphones correct don't correct me because i know i know i know i know i'm not wrong they used to look like iphones there was this one that used to look like uh a, six, a seven plus it had a seven plus camera bump at the back but in the front it had like a button that resembled that of a huawei p10 and uh, here at the back it, it had uh, those those uh those decals that we get on uh those beatings that we get on an iphone 7 and 7 plus and it was rose gold the menu was exactly like that of a of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an iphone 7 plus it's just a skin on top of android though so the software is called uh it's called color color os it's very very nice i don't know i don't know what more i can say to complement this os i've used uh, xiaomi devices before and uh, they pretty much have uh, a fluid os just like this i'm starting to believe that they're in partnership with uh xiaomi or redmi because i, I recently found out that xiaomi owns vivo it owns Poco, it owns Redmi, it owns it owns a lot of did I say Oppo? I'm not too sure about Oppo, but it owns OnePlus as well. So it owns a lot of these uh, mo uh, of the, of these Android of these Chinese Android brands, but it definitely does not own Huawei. And I love the resilience of Huawei. I mean, they're still in the game after the ban. That's sick. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And if you've been watching my channel and if you know me, you know that I love the the gesture, the gesture, the gesture navigation options on the phone. I don't like using those old school uh, buttons in the bottom, soft buttons at the bottom, like for your back, your home and your recent tabs. It's just clunky. And I, I just like to swipe from the back uh, for, for, for my previous screen, just like that, or swipe to the home screen from the bottom all the way up, just... Uh, Get my recent apps or just to leave an app just swipe just swipe up and uh, to and swipe halfway through the screen to delete the apps or just see the tabs that i've been uh, I've, I've been visiting so yeah that's me i don't know about you you tell me in the comments down below if you prefer the old soft keys that uh, used to appear on the bottom or you like gestures as well some can say that these gestures were copied from iphone because Android started using this gest uh, these gestures quite more after the iPhone X's debut, after the iPhone killed uh, the home button for iPhones. But I do, I, I, I would argue that because uh, from the Mate 7, from the Huawei Mate 7, I think uh, the OS, the, the, the original o Android OS had that feature already on it. Some Samsungs were using um, gesture controls and uh, you'll remember from the s4s and the s5s for you to go home you just swipe from the uh, from the bottom to your right hand side of the screen which pretty much gives me the recent tabs on this phone if i do it because they know that all models were doing it so some people know gestures to be this way so this is this is what they're doing and uh, to go back as well to go back one screen you just swipe from either side which is the left or right but I do not have an exact time frame of when uh, this was in, uh, or of when this was in motion. I did uh, say that it comes with a nice silicone cover. I use it with this cover, but honestly, it doesn't look that interesting when it's in the cover. It just looks bulky. It doesn't look this beautiful when it's in the cover. But uh, if we can talk about this cover for a few seconds, I like and hate the fact that it's got a camera bump incorporated on it. Because it kind of takes away the shine of the camera bump and it hides the silver that it has on the side so if I can just bring it up close to the camera there's a nice silver lining there's a nice silver lining uh, on that camera bump and uh, it kind of gives it that more plush and uh, high-end high high quality feeling look so that camera bump on the cover it, it, it hides it 
and at the same time i said i like it and I, I hate it but it also protects this camera bump for example say you put this phone on the table like this it's kind of rocking but but uh, your camera it, that's not the only problem the rocking is not the only problem the camera bump is actually compromised over there your lenses are literally compromised but in this protection uh they are fully covered and uh nothing can actually happen to them there's like a, a nice thick top layer on top of your camera lens so you know that nothing can happen to them no matter how you place your phone and almost no matter how you drop it and uh, uh you would notice that it's got a very 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 sharp uh, fingerprint sensor on the side you don't need to do a lot for it to actually unlock the phone and the sharp uh, face unlock so i'll just try and open it with the finger that uh that i, I never registered uh, with the fingerprints so let's try and do that and i'm gonna look at the phone and it's open but uh, that was not as fast as it should be as it's usually as it usually is there you go it's not like face id of course i mean face id can get you from a lot of different angles but it also helps the, f uh, the fact that it's got a fingerprint mounted on the side it also helps because the first thing that your finger the first place where you actually your finger actually goes when you're grabbing a phone is the fingerprint position and there won't be any accidental screenshots taken with this phone because the volume rockers are on the left hand side love the fact that the volume rockers are on the left hand side so when you want to take a screenshot you're actually taking a screenshot and you can actually use um your fingers as you grab the phone to raise and and and, and drop the volume uh the activities or the responsibilities even it is evenly distributed within your fingers it's quite an engaging uh process to use this phone not to use this phone but to use a phone with the with the volume rockers on the left hand side the apple apple devices are also like that and i really like i, I really like that feature about them i think they have this feature painted uh this 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 feature for the silence uh this toggle that they actually have for the silence but if it wasn't a patent or, or something like that i know a lot of android devices would have applied this by now but anyways i don't think you're gonna see that happening anytime soon but trust me give it 10 to 20 years that actually 10 is too much for technology 5 to 10 years that thing's gonna happen some chinese some chinese uh, manufacturers are gonna actually get that smart idea and actually go with it but anyways it's been a lovely one from gadget Berry. i know it's been a very very long video but it's because i love this phone and there's a lot that i can say about it so if you do like the video just press the like button uh, if you're new to the channel kindly subscribe and uh, to all the subscribers that have watched again uh, your views are highly appreciated um kindly share the content and tell your friends about the channel it has been a lovely one from to see called gadget berry you guys have yourselves a good one because i'm definitely going to be having myself a good one here peace